Hi, this is a quick three minute video on this. OK, so these types of questions tend to appear on calculator papers. And we've got a rectangle that has a length of 14 centimetres. The important thing is it's correct to the nearest centimetre. So if we look at the bounds on that, what we're basically saying is that the smallest that this particular centimetre length can be is going to be 13.5, which we're calling the lower bound, which means the upper bound is going to be 14.5. OK, let's have a look then at the width of 4.3 centimetres. Now, it says correct to the nearest millimetres. Well, the millimetre part of it is the 3, because that would actually represent 3 millimetres. So, therefore, the lower bound is going to be 4.25 centimetres, and then the upper bound is going to be 4.35 centimetres. If you're not sure about any of these, please do let me know, and I'll provide a link for for you. Okay, so we've got the information that we need, and the first thing is is calculate the upper bound for the perimeter of the rectangle. So the perimeter means is all the measurements are the largest measurement that we can achieve. So that's going to be 14.5, 4.35, 14.5. 14.5 and again 4.35 and when we calculate all of that and we add them all up together we're going to get 37.7 centimeters which would be the upper bound for the perimeter okay let's have a look then at the lower bound for the area well the area is two dimensions multiplied together in this case it's going to be the lowest amounts 13.5 multiplied by 4.25 which means my area as a lower bound is going to be 57.375 centimetres squared and that's the answer to the question. OK, so just a quick note before we continue. If you require any additional support, please visit 3minutemaths.co.uk. You can search for any GCSE maths topic or search by grade. And if you click on any of the links, that will take you through to a particular post. So this one is how to answer maths indices questions. There are links through to the questions, the answers and a walkthrough video as well. You can also remain on the YouTube channel and all of the resources are within the YouTube channel and descriptions below each of the videos hope that's useful to you okay so i hope the video is useful please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything i'll always come back to you subscribe to the channel i'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video